Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And we're only 24 hours removed after the pay per view success of WWE Night of Champions 2013. We are next uh, Raw will be the one year anniversary of the save, which I think is pretty cool. Some of my saves don't get past, you know, especially like long games like this. Or there's multiple years. Like, like it's obviously, like, if it's a local to global, it'll get past a year. But, like, a WWE one, it barely gets past a year because I'm lazy. But, you yeah, know, this one going past its first calendar year is going to be exciting. But for now, we have the opening of Raw. Raw opens up with our still WWE champion, Kofi Kingston. Uh, remember, that was my idea first. WWE Creative stole it. <laughs> but uh, he comes out, and he doesn't get the chance to talk before Mr. Man comes out. And he goes, Kofi, I know what you're going to say. You're going to want to pick your challenger for uh, the next pay-per-view, which is not Money in the Bank. He makes the announcement. The next pay-per-view is going to be Cyber Sunday. Cyber Sunday is making its return, just like the Scramble match last month. And with the return of Cyber Sunday, we are going to have a bona fide challenger for the WWE title. And Mr. Man makes a number one contenders match. Wade Barrett, CM Punk, Evan Bourne, Bray Wyatt, Fatal 4-Way, all of those men competed in last night's match. They're going to determine who is the number one contender to the WWE title and who will get that chance at Cyber Sunday. And the fans will get to vote on the stipulation of that match, but we do not know the stipulations options as of right now. We will have those later on, perhaps next week. We'll have to see. But for now, we go on to the main focus, and we go to the first matchup. First matchup is between Chris Jericho and Seth Rollins. Uh, Jericho manages to beat Seth Rollins, even though the Big Show ran in and attacked Jericho because John Morrison makes his return. And he makes a return, and he distracts Seth Rollins long enough for Jericho to hit a lion salt and getting the ever-coveted pinfall in the matchup. So... Interesting stuff from Jericho now that he's got, you know, this, you know, the storyline, you know, this is over with the big show, as you can see, it's ended. But, you know, we have this new segment, you know, what's John Morrison doing back and why did he distract the shield? We'll probably get that later on. And we come back for commercial break and that's exactly what we get. John Morrison talks about, he goes, if you don't remember, John Morrison was injured, so he's written off TV by the shield beating him up. And he goes, I don't forget what the shield did to me. You know, you took me into action, precious months. I could have been in the championship scramble match. I could have been WWE champion. But that chance was ruined for me by S.H.I.E.L.D. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of the S.H.I.E.L.D. and England's finest running around here like they own the damn place. And I'm going to make sure that they absolutely get what's coming to them. I'm going to assemble a team and take down the S.H.I.E.L.D. Not many. No one's been able to really take down the Shield on TV or on pay per view in a three man match, six man match. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, my head is all messed up. I'm trying to keep my composure. But John Morrison announces that he's going to do that task. He's going to try that exact very same thing, but we'll see if that has any consequences to it. We'll move on to the next segment. And the next segment announces for Cyber Sunday. Speaking of matches. Saban and Shelley announce a four-way tag team match. Said that they're going to put the titles on the line. They want competition. They've talked to Mr. McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels as well. And that three other teams are going to get their shot at the gold. Uh, and World's Greatest Tag Team, despite the fact that they lost last night, it was a good match. So they're giving them a shot despite you know the fact that they're old and wrinkly and can barely move. So we'll have to see that match. And that match is next. And they take on Crime Time. Crime Time versus World's Greatest Tag Team. Trying to get a shot at those coveted pennies. Uh, and the World's Greatest Tag Team managed to do it when Shelton Benjamin hits the broken arrow on Shad. With, and uh, during the match, uh, Saban and Shelly, I like to mention, they were at the commentary table for the match, watching the match, causing a bit of distraction, but it wasn't enough. And the world's greatest tag team managed to pull away with the victory. Next up, we have a match cooling the fans down a bit. We have some diva action between Nikki Bella and Michelle McCool, with Nikki Bella pinning up the win with Twin Magic. Uh, you know, what can you say? But after that, we have Astra Dula, the lights go out, 
They come back on. She's in the ring, and she's with cheerleader Melissa. Cheerleader Melissa has been kidnapped, essentially, by this random woman that people don't even still don't know who the hell she is. The Bella is obviously shocked, and Astrid again. The lights go back off. And they come back on. Her and Melissa are gone, and the, the Bella's protege has just seemingly been kidnapped, and we don't know what's going on with that. Next, we have a segment. We cup, I like to think there's commercial break. The Miz is just beating the shit out of CM Punk backstage. It, it, we've kind of come used to this image ever since the end of WrestleMania. The Miz is just beating on Punk. And then Orton sees Miz and is like, I better get in on that, and just starts attacking Miz. So the CM Punk's down. It's the Miz, Randy Orton, they're just beating each other up. Then Stone Cold comes up, breaks it up. You know, they're not messing with Stone Cold. They don't want to do that right now. Stone Cold says, get out, and he checks on CM Punk to make sure he's all right for his match later on in the night. Next, we have another match of just, you know, just getting some talent on the show. Antonio Cesaro taking on Yoshitatsu. Uh, Cesaro puts away Tatsu in about nine minutes with the Ricola bomb. Not much else you can say about that. Next, we have Bray Wyatt standing with his family, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. And he's cutting a promo on both Wade Barrett and Evan Bourne. Uh, he doesn't mention CM Punk, but he says, you know, Wade Barrett is a man that cherishes his culture, his nation, but that means nothing to a man like Bray Wyatt who cares, you know. It's kind of ironic he says that considering the U.S. title feud, you know, when he was completely about criticizing, you know, American culture. But, you know, he says he doesn't really care about Britain, he doesn't care about England. All he cares is about is proving his destiny by pitting him and Evan Bourne, who he's beaten before, to get that shot at the WWE title. And once he gets that WWE title, we're all going to be following the buzzards. And he makes good on that promise. And finally, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin walks into Mr. McMahon's office and starts just yelling at Mr. McMahon. Triple H and Stephanie, as usual, are beside him. And the main point of Stone Cold's argument is that, you know, he's the sheriff of Raw, he's the GM of Raw, he should be the one making matches. He said he was going to make a match similar to that, but it would involve multiple people. And because of McMahon's faulty booking, CM Punk has essentially been taken out of the play. Austin knows that Mr. McMahon obviously doesn't like CM Punk. How CM Punk has said things about McMahon which are pretty terrible in the past. So it's pretty convenient that, you know, he was put in the match and not someone like Orton and Punk who Mr. McMahon knows they have a huge issue with. Mr. McMahon then asks what he's saying and Stone Cold Steve Austin accuses Mr. McMahon of foul play. He says, I think it was your fault that John Cena came back. I think it's your fault that CM Punk's been taken out. I think it's your fault that there's so many just strange management decisions going on that all this stuff is being changed around without the GM's notification and apparently no one knows what's going on. So he says this and we obviously we haven't really seen a lot out of that but you know it gives us a light that obviously the upper crechelon of wwe the business side of it has had a somewhat uneasy appeal and a kind of mysterious nature so basically stone cold steve austin just accuses mr man of foul play while triple h and stephanie watch on in shock silence and stone cold then leaves pissed off that and also he says that cm punk will not be able to medically he wasn't medically completely to compete in the main event so it's going to be that triple threat, Wade Barrett, Bray Wyatt, and Evan Bourne, to determine a new number one contender. And it's going to be Wade Barrett in a 99A star match on Raw. Dang, that's always good. Wade Barrett defeats Bray Wyatt and Evan Bourne when Wade Barrett gets Evan Bourne and he hits him with the Wasteland and he manages to secure himself that number one contender status. Um, Evan Bourne getting a pretty good rating, Wade Barrett getting, uh, uh, Wade Barrett getting a great rating with 94, and, uh, Bray Wyatt getting a great rating as well, in terms of that, you know, the, the McKay Stadium just probably witnessed a really good match, and then as the show goes off the air, Kofi Kingston stares down Wade Barrett, his new challenger for the WWE title, we don't know the stipulations, the fans are gonna be able to vote on that, I'll talk more about that probably in the next episode of Raw once... Most of the fields are pretty much getting set up. And that's pretty much it for this episode of Raw. Let's see how we did. 96A, I didn't think it'd be that good, the rating-wise, I mean. But I, I, I say this every episode, and I figure out my dumbass would learn this by now. So I'm going to try and restrain myself from not saying it. 
But uh, overall, a good Raw to end off on. And I want to thank everyone for watching this episode, and I'll see you again for SmackDown.